Hello guys, this is TJ Place Now, and today we are back with a brand new tutorial series, actually. Today I'm going to be starting a brand new series, hopefully this will last quite a while, but we are going to be creating ourselves a very own Discord bot, and I'm going to show you guys every single step that we have to go through it. So, first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your programming IDE. I use Eclipse, and here we are in my Eclipse. Alright, so if you've ever watched any of my other tutorials, you'll know how to get Eclipse, and I suggest getting Eclipse if you don't use it. Otherwise, Intel IJ, it does work. Um, hopefully you know how to use it if you use Intel IJ. But what we're going to be doing today is creating a new Java project, and this is the first step to making our Discord bot in Java. It's something that not many people actually do. So I'm going to name this tutorial minus uh, dis a dbot episode one all right and then th that's all we need here for the project let's just go ahead and click finish and boom, here is our project let's go ahead before we go any further we're gonna go ahead and go into google go ahead down in the description of the video i should have this page with the downloads and stuff we're gonna want to download the shaded jar all right that's the first thing that we want to download Make sure you click the keep button. We also want the Java doc. Make sure you click the keep button on that too once it pops up. Apparently everything's just running really slow. E. I don't know why, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and minimize your IDE so that way you can see your desktop once the buttons realize, maybe. I don't know if it actually registered that I clicked on Java doc. I think now it did, so we'll see. I have no clue why it's going super slow, but as you see, I also have a whole bunch of other things open, and while we wait on that to realize that I clicked it, we're going to come over here into um, discordapp.com slash developers slash applications slash me. Now, if you're not signed into uh, Discord using um, your Discord account that you have on your computer, go ahead and sign into Discord. I would suggest doing it. Um, and here is where we are going to create the app, or the the bot, through Discord itself. So that way we can have a profile that we can do everything with the bot with. You have to do it this way, you can't use a created profile, otherwise you'd be going against the terms and agreements for Discord. So we're going to go ahead and click New, and then we're going to call this Tutorial Bot. Alright, and it seems that I accidentally clicked that twice and it realized that I clicked it, so go ahead and just click the key button on that one too. Alright, so we're going to call this tutorial bot the official tutorial bot of TJ, TJ Plays Now. Alright, beautiful. We're not going to add an app icon, but you should probably do that for yourself if you're creating something. I would suggest doing it. I just clicked the remove button, I think, but it didn't actually do anything. I'm. It's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and click create app button. Alright, now, what we can go ahead and do is click create a bot user, and yes, please do it. Alright, now our bot is a bot, we're going to click the public bot and then click to reveal token. This token is very important, go ahead and select it and copy it, and that should be all you need to do. Then after we get that done, it seems that our download has finally finished. I have no clue why my computer is acting up, but it's fine. Alright, so. I already have the shaded jar, so it went ahead and downloaded this number one, but that's fine. We can just go ahead and backspace that and rename it. Alright, so we're coming back in here to Eclipse, and we're going to right-click this. Alright, then we're going to go to Build Path, Configure Build Path. Alright, now once this pops up... Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're going to go to the uh, Libraries tab, and then Add External Jar. Alright. Now this is going to take a couple minutes, and then we can go ahead and just go right here to our desktop, and then select Discord Shaded Dot Jar. All right, and then for this, we're going to click this arrow button, so that way we have the Java Doc location, browse, and then it should. Oh no, wrong one. We have to come down here to Java Doc and Archive, then click Browse. All right, then we choose the Java doc right there. Alright, click OK, and then OK. 
Now we should be all set on that. Now we're going to right click in our source folder and then create a new class. Let's see if my computer is just all of a sudden freezing up and I don't know why, but that's okay. So new class and we're going to call this class main. All right. And the package shall be in com.pzg.ww.tutorial. You can do it in whatever package. I would suggest either choosing a domain, so com.yourname.www.tutorial, and dot .main. Alright. And then click enter. And then we can go ahead. It's loading. Um, there we go. Alright, so now inside of here, we're going to just go ahead and control space and type in M-A-I-N for main. And then as soon as everything stops freezing, alright, then we can go down here to the main method one. We don't want a constructor for our main, that's not needed. But what we do need is the main for this. Alright, now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and create a new class. No, not new package. I never use the new package thing because you can change the package that the class is in from within the class thing. So now I'm going to set this to dot main dot object, and then I'm going to create a bot object. All right, this bot object is very very magical. Also, right here in Eclipse, you can go ahead and click this down arrow, and we want to change the view so from flat to hierarchical. That's in the package presentation. That's just so that way it looks just a little bit better. And now inside of bot, we are going to press enter a couple times. We're going to create a constructor and that's all good. Now for this constructor, we're going to want a string token and a string, um, what is the string called? It's, there's a name to it. Uh, the boo boo boo. I can't think of it now. It's like, ooh, hold on. We're not even doing the string there, actually. I, I remembered about that. All right, so now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go back down to the description. There should be a pay, or a haste bin where there's a little bit of code that you're going to have to copy and paste into here. It's all good. You should just be able to copy and paste it really easily and then control shift o so that way you import everything and now we are going to create a new um uh thing hold on uh so what you're going to do now is you're going to come up here you're going to copy i discord client and then you're going to set the name to bot we're creating a new bot basically so bot equals create client and it's that easy so as soon as that happens, uh, create client, and for token, we're just doing the token. Alright, just like that. Now, back in here in main, <laughs> basically, what we're going to do now is do bot bot equals new bot. And then, now we have to go back in, since I accidentally copied I Discord client, we have to go back into our apps and copy that. And also make sure you control shift O so that way you import the bot. And that is everything that you need for the first thing of the bot. Now if we run this program, the bot will turn on. And to see that, what we can do is go back into our browser. And first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy the client ID. Alright, this is to add the Discord bot to your Discord server. So now in the description as well, there is a... Um, link going to discordapi.com slash permissions.html and what you can do is just select all of these permissions they are all needed for things later on hopefully most likely going to all be needed and that is fine just go ahead and click on all of those and then right here we're inserting that client id all right that looks like it's perfectly good. That's everything we need. Now all we can do is, or all we have to do is click on this link it's created for us, and it'll take us to where we need to add the bot to our Discord server. So, in here, I have myself as test user set up, and we are going to be adding it to test server, just like that. Authorize, and I'm not a robot. Alright, now, in here, it said... Hey, listen, TutorialBot has joined. Alright, cool. Now, 
tutorial bot is in our server. If we come back here into Eclipse and for the first time run this, so we just click um, to run it for the first time, you gotta run configurations, and then Java application, you're gonna wanna double click this to create a new Java application, and we're going to call this Discord Bot. Alright, and actually, minus tutorial bot. Alright, and it already knows all of that. Let's see if it can search for the main class. Um, name is main, and apply, and run. Now we should see down here that a console window should pop up, and it says a Java binding for the dish. Yep, all that stuff happens, and it should, in a couple more seconds, say that the bot was or successfully connected. Alright, now in here you can see tutorial bot is online. That is amazing. We have done really well so far. Now, I'm going to leave you guys at that. It's been 10 minutes, and getting the bot set up is the hardest part, usually. So, now that we have the bot set up, we can do amazing things. I'm going to teach you guys next episode how we can get commands done really nice and easily, so that way, like, later on, things are just really smart to do. So, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Expect it here in a couple days. I'm not quite sure when. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already, so that way you can stay up to date on these tutorial videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.